we are here for a kind of like a second maiden run of the Hyper MT with all the upgrades that I've put on it now and um, I've got a new location this is the Altona BMX track um, I've had a few people kind of request a different location from time to time and um, this is about half hour out of uh, away from here like from where I live so I figured hey why not come out here the terrain's very similar to the uh, BMX track I normally run at so should still give me a good indication of how it runs compared to the other track and uh, as you can see there's quite some big jumps here but of course lining them up is not going to be all that easy um, I don't have a high vantage point like I do with uh, with the other BMX track but so we are we are on forest and uh, like I said I've geared up to a 17 tooth pinion from the stock 16 tooth and uh, this thing is uh, behaving very nicely I wonder if um, I should uh, go over to the other side maybe I'll get a better view so let's uh, let's switch sides here because I'm not too used to running uh, my RCs on this track all right so this is what it looks like from the opposite side go around there it's a bit hard to uh, to judge my approach because like I said I haven't driven here very often these jumps are really kick up the truck oh. there's a first tumble so not used to this track Ah, oh, nice, the wheelie bar doing its job. All right, let's go a bit harder here. Enough, uh, enough going easy on this guy. Definitely need a bit more speed over those jumps. So let's see if we can do something here. Here we go. Jumps real nice. Nice. Well, these things really like to uh, to kick it up. Ooh, tall grass, tall grass. Big jump here. These jumps. This is the uh, the carnage jumps. I can't really jump it because the guys are standing there, and if I miss the jump, I'll land on their head. Probably not ideal. We'll stick over this side. So you kind of have small jumps, which are these, and then you got the medium jumps, which is what I'm standing on, and then you got the large jumps, which is uh, the ones that they're playing on. So <laughs> nice. Willie Bar certainly does his job. Tires are really good. Servo is holding position really well. I'm really happy with this servo. Ooh, just enough power there to correct it. Very, very good power on this on this truck. Oh, big air, big air on that one. Yeah, saved it. Just on 4S, this thing has plenty of power to do some serious damage. Especially in these jumps. And these tyres, my god, they grip like crazy. Proline uh, did a good job with these.
Oh. <laughs> try to protect it then, try to, to save it. All right, let's do a couple of big jumps here. See how much this thing can, uh, can handle. First of all, I hope I can line this up. <laughs> big jumps, big air. Hey? Uh, I don't know if I can clear two jumps on 4S. It shoots the truck way up. Maybe the other way. Yeah, it shoots it up but not forward. And landed on that little jump. Oh. Ah, bugger. All right, gotta get it. I gotta say, these tires grip like crazy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Couldn't do anything about it. Didn't have the power to correct it. These jumps are a bit deadly. Oops, missed it. Definitely likes to kick uh, the truck or the rear of the truck up. Nice, big air, and I think that is my low voltage, and uh, we should be pretty much done. Nope, wasn't low voltage, one of my plugs came undone. I'll tell you what, this thing can really take a beating. Oh! oh I can't do that, not with 4S. So yeah, this truck can really take a beating. I'm most impressed with the, uh, the way that this has been done compared to the Ofna version that I had. This is uh, one, of the, one of the nicest um, high center of gravity monster trucks I've had in recent times. This, the BES, uh, definitely up there as well. Um, this could definitely use a, uh, a better steering servo. And I'm very impressed. Ooh, what's happened here? I'm losing drive. Uh-oh, please don't tell me I've shattered another, another gear. What have I done here? Just as I was saying how good this was, let me zoom out a bit here. Something has gone amiss. I did put Humpty Dumpty back the way that it was. Hopefully, it's not. Oh, I've sheared my pinion completely destroyed my opinion that's what's happened that is not the truck's fault the spur gear has definitely held up but my pinion my pinion is completely sheared off i can't remember where i got that pinion from to be honest i think it's an armor pinion it may be the 17 tooth pinion that i got uh, that i had a spare from my nero maybe i didn't have the gear mesh set up properly that could be my fault it may not be the truck's fault at all um which is a bit surprising because I usually get my gear meshes right. So let me turn this off. Where is the off switch? Which way does it go? This way. All right, so there we have it. The uh, Habao, and this battery tray is a little bit jammed here. Um, the Habao Hyper MT Sport Plus, uh, definitely standing up to some heavy punishment with some big jumps out here. Uh, I am most impressed with this one and I think I am done with my testing. Uh, next time you see it will be at review time. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.